Let's move on to 300.22, wiring in ducts in plenum spaces. First thing, 300.22a says that in a, in a duct work, okay, that's moving, let's say, uh, moving, moving sand, or you're moving uh, uh, wood chips, you're moving grinding, you know, whatever it is, if anything is being moved inside the actual duct, wiring methods are not permitted to be installed within ducts that transport dust, loose stock, or flammable vapors. Nothing can be installed in that, ever. Now, if you have a duct that's fabricated, for environmental air purposes. Equipment is only permitted within a duct, fabricated transport environmental air, if the equipment is necessary for the direct action upon or sensing of the contained air. So if you have to run wiring inside because what's inside is gonna be a, a damper. Duct detector. A duct detector. Something has to be inside. Well, then of course you can you can do it. But then 322B tells us what kind of wiring methods you can use if you have to do this and if you meet that requirement. Um, you know what, Brian, uh, Mario, why don't you read me 322B? I'm surprised I didn't have a slide. And Brian, I was making sure. to get a slide there of what kind of wiring could you put in. You know what? I'm not going to get into wiring. We don't need to have a list. If you're going to go inside the ductwork because you have to, then you're going to read 300.22b, and it's going to have to be, it's, it's going to be all metal. It's going to be IMC, EMT, rigid metal conduit, flexible metal conduit, then tell you the length of the wiring that could be is, okay, so just read that for the details. Four feet. We don't need to be getting details now. Let's go to 300.22c, and there's a note, and I'm going to hit the note first before I get into the rule, and 300.22c is called plenum spaces for environment to air. Or it might, it probably don't even, I don't even think, that, oh, yeah, it does say that, doesn't it? It uses the word plenum on the 322, right? Paren. Paren. Paren plenum. So they use in, uh, places, of, uh, uh, what is it? What's the actual word? It's what? Other spaces for envi environmental air. Other spaces for environmental air. Uh, Paren plenum. So what I did in my <laughs> book was I got rid of all that. Everywhere it says other space used for environmental air, I simply call it an, a plenum space. So I want you to understand what I've done. So now that we know that's a plenum space. 322C1, note one, tells us, well, what are we talking about? Well, one, if you're moving air in a space, right? It's not duct work. It's not A, it's not B. Well, then in any other spot, it's going to be. If you're moving space in there, that's going to be a condition C, whether it be below the ground or you have a raise, you have a, a, a suspended ceiling with all these wires and you have air that's entering. So watch this. Some ceilings have like a return air grills, with with the fil with the filter there, and the air or not a filter there, air just comes in here, and so therefore the above ceiling space is actually being used as part of the return air, and since you're actually moving that air from the ceiling, bringing it through the vents of the ceiling and above the suspended ceiling area, and it's going into the ductwork, there's really a hazard of having a fire, and now all you're doing is taking it one location and moving it somewhere else, so that is what 322C what a plenum space is, right? <laughs> Well, and I just want to throw a comment in there. Another plenum space that we forget about, it's pretty common to have a air handler closet with a big louvered door, and the, that closet door is a return. Well, that makes that entire closet an uh, environmental space. So you have to be yep. careful you're not using wiring methods that are not acceptable for use in a, in a plenum space. Yeah, I'm not, I'm surprised I don't have that graphic, but we'd have, yep. make a note to get that graphic for Mike to That's add to the book because we have the graphic, we just don't have it shown here. It's also because it produces a lot of thick black smoke, which will prevent you from seeing where you go in the building. And that's why you see on a lot of products where they write low smoke. Okay. Well, we're just simply talking about what a plenum space is, space below the floor, Using for air is, is plenum, 322C, space above that. And Brian is saying, well, if you have an air handler in a room and you have a louver doors, well, then that space would be part of the plenum space. Plenum space. And once we know what the space is, then we have to get involved in what, what kind of wiring could you place in that space. And this graphic here is, is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Oh, there it is. You can run EMT, rigid metal, IMC, armor cable, MC cable with, without a non-metallic cover and flexible metal conduit. Let's, let's spell out the word. Well, we have it. In other words, they're metal. Your wiring methods above that are going to be metal. Uh, I don't know if I have the picture. Yes. 
Uh, another picture in there. I don't see. Yes, okay, we got to get it there. Okay. Um, even if you're going to put cable ties, cable ties and other non-metallic cable accessories used to secure and support cables must be listed for use in a plenum space. Mm -hmm. Now there's, and so here's a bag. Does it say plenum space in there? Air handling space, plenum, right there. There is no color of a cable tie. There's no way to know if a cable tie is specifically identified for a plenum space. So you keep the bag, I guess. And Mario, it's, that's the one I got. Well, that bag looks old. Well, uh, okay, I'll get you a new bag. You know what I mean? <laughs> so there's no way for an inspector to know no. whether or not it's plenum rate or not. And the, in the amount of cable tie in an entire suspended ceiling in an entire building, I don't think it's going to significantly make a difference at all. But code is code. No. And I would, be getting, I would be getting the plenum cable ties, you know, and I would like to try to figure out if I can get one that'd be a certain color or weight, but there's, I haven't been able to find anything that's a standard, like a, well, if they're pink, then you know that they're plenum rated. They're, I don't have they, that. That used to be a thing, actually. It was. The, the, at one point, red. they were red. Exactly. But it's not really anymore. Exactly. Now, I mentioned that Article 300 does not have anything to do with any kind of class two and all the low voltage communications wiring, and the answer is still true. It does not. However, if you take a look at this graphic here, all these references, all these references actually reference 300.22. So since 300.22 does not apply to any of these other applications, then you had to have all those other applications reference 300.22, which has to do with the plenum rated cables. If you're going to be going into 725 and 760 and 770, and you're going to be in 8. 05 and 810 and 820 and all those other articles or 800 are are going to be installed in above ceiling space or a plenum space then we have to have some rule telling you how you handle it it's not in 322 c it's in the low voltage articles telling you yes you can actually put it in here and it has to be what plenum rated. rated so basically plenum rated cables or metal raceway a metal wiring method system and metal boxes mario just want to mention that if even if you use a metal raceway and you're running one of these other article cables, the cable still has to be plenum rated. Uh, the answer is no. No? No. So I could put a non-plenum rated cable in an EMT. Yes. Yep. In a plenum space. Yep. Otherwise, you couldn't put THHN inside of any metal wiring method in a plenum space because it's not plenum rated. Okay. Yeah. Somebody must have yeah. told you that. Yes, so oh, that's, tell no, me that. that's actually a common job spec. No, so you can't, you have to, in a plenum space, they want you to run EMT and put plenum cable <coughs> inside. But we're not talking about job specs. I know, but that's where he's getting Maybe he got that from there. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. where it was. I'm sure I've, that's, I've where, seen that's that. where he got it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Of course. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm, try, I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Helping you out. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Mario's so cute. You know what I mean? <laughs> he just jumps in there. I, that, it, it, that's the way I am still today. <laughs> I'm putting my mouth like, okay, let me, hey, one thing. Now, but Mario, you should not believe any of us. You I'll know do the where, research. You know where 725 is. Yep. And you know where it talks about the different types of cables. Oh, yeah. And plenum yeah. faces. Okay. Now you let us know about that. All right. So, 300.22C2A says that you can put a, a, a metal cable tray can be installed uh, above a plenum space. But I think there's some rules, uh, Eric, wasn't there? Isn't there something about metal cable? Uh, I think that if you put single conduct, oh, there's something about metal cable trays about plenum space. Research, isn't there something in there about that? That you, you can't have the closed bottoms or it has to be a closed bottom. I can't remember exactly what it is, but we'll talk about that in the cable tray. So let's make a note to remember this and see, hey, what's the deal on that? Uh, this is something I did not know and I only saw this in the spring. I would have told you the only thing you could put in a plenum space is metal raceways, metal boxes, plenum rated cables. That's it. And I'm at a, at a trade show, and I'm always checking the booths on the trade show, and a guy is showing me this box. And look at this box. This box is a box cover. And look how deep the cover is. So imagine, Ryan, you're in a ceiling. You're making all these splices. You have all this wire that's hanging down, right? And then you're trying to put the blank cover on there and you're trying to squeeze it inside there. What a pain that is. This is like an inch and a half, if not two I inches love deep. 
And all you do is you stick it in there and you just kind of, you don't even do it with the wires, you just kind of, and then you go, boom, done. And I'm like, but you can't use that in a plenum. Take a look right here. Plenum rated. So you can use <clears throat> non-metallic plenum rated products, Brian. There's, there's a lot of non-metallic plenum rated products because there's plenum rated wire management systems that are all plastic. Um, oh. Duct detectors most of the time are marked plenum rated. So there's there's a number of... Uh, but it's going to have to be marked plenum rated to be able to put it in a plenum space. Right. And there's communications raceways that are marked plenum rated. 